Do you have a lead conversion system set up for your business? If you don't, you are leaving money on the table and it is probably making a five or even a six figure difference by not having it in place. That's the money that you're leaving on the table. Inside this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix it and how to have a great lead conversion system. Check this out. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Smolin. My company is 2Q Lead Generation Strategies and what we do is we work with real estate agents. We show them a lead generation system that will help them grow their business, add uh, at least two transactions per month to, the, uh, to their production and all of it taking less than an hour of their time per week on Facebook. And so uh, today what we're gonna be doing is something slightly different. Normally we're showing uh, different ways and different strategies of generating leads and how to grow your business. Um, today we're still going to be showing you how to grow your business, um, but in a different way. It's more about lead conversion rather than lead generation. So what happens fundamentally with most agents' business is they have two problems. Either number one, they have a lead generation problem, they don't have enough leads coming in. And then normally once you fix that problem, then it becomes the second problem, which is a lead conversion problem. They have plenty of leads, but they're not converting and turning into clients, or at least not enough, of, or not as many of them as there could be. And so that's what we're gonna focus on today is the lead conversion piece of this. How to take leads uh, and translate that into actual transactions. Now, what I find more often than not is that once the lead generation problem has been fixed and agents are generating leads, agents don't have a, a consistent follow-up system. So if they're not generating a lead right away, or uh, excuse me, if the lead doesn't convert right away, a lot of agents just tend to throw that on the back burner and pray that it turns into a transaction. Uh, and sometimes their prayers are answered, um, but in most cases, it generally doesn't. They end up uh, not making a whole lot of uh, progress with that particular lead, and so they're constantly generating leads and just burning through them, but it's not really turning into anything. And so that's what we wanna to fix today. So with that kind of background and, and showing you um, the necessity of this, again, if you don't have a lead generation or conversion in place, like a lead conversion system in place, you are leaving money on the table and potentially even five or even six figures of income that you're leaving on the table. So to show you how you do this, let me just go ahead and share my screen and uh, we'll break this down. Now, lead conversion, right? That's what we're talking about. So how to take the leads that you're converting or that you're getting and converting them into actual transactions. So with that, you just have to understand this process. So when we talk about a hot lead, somebody who's qualified and ready to do business right now, most hot leads are created. They are not found. Okay, let me say that again. Most hot leads are created, not found meaning that most people, when they engage with you, they are not ready to buy today or not ready to sell today. It's gonna to take them some time, whether it's fixing their credit, getting money for a down payment, getting the house ready to sell, waiting for the kids to graduate, waiting for the divorce to be final, and a million and one other different situations, right? And so regardless of what the situation is, most people are not ready today, and therefore, by definition, they are not a quote-unquote hot lead, right? And so leads that are hot are going to become things that you create, things that you nurture, right? Very few of them will you find that way. Most of them aren't ready yet. It takes a little bit of time to get them to that point. And so roughly, statistically, when we're talking about generating leads from a cold audience, people who don't know you are, statistically, one to 3% of them are hot, right when you find them, right? Very, very few people aren't. Again, most people are not ready to start that real estate sales process yet. So that is why the magic is in the follow-up. This is where you're going to be making your money. It's all in the follow-up. And you can get more transactions from a proper follow-up system than you can from generating new leads. If more people were better at, at cultivating and nurturing the leads that they had, they would generate more business from that. So the proper lead follow-up system has four buckets, and this is the, prime, er, the primary thing that I wanted to teach you today. So the first bucket is a no response bucket. And I'm gonna go through each, each of these four buckets and kind of talk about what they are, how we nurture them, what the follow-up process is, et cetera. So bucket number one is the no response bucket. Bucket number two are your hot leads that we were talking about earlier. Your second or third one are your warm leads. 
And then finally, the fourth one are your cultivate leads. So let's go down and, and break, you know, let's go through and break down each one of these. So the first one is when a lead comes in, everybody, no matter what, they're automatically in the no response bucket and they're gonna stay there until there's been some kind of contact, some kind of interaction. Until that point, they stay in the no response bucket. And so once you make contact with them, then what we're trying to determine is as we make that contact, we want to, just, we want to establish what their sales cycle is. So what's their time frame? Are they going to be buying or selling in the next couple months, in three to six months, in six to 12 months? We want to be finding out those things because that tells us how we're going to be following up with them appropriately. And so again, everybody stays in that no contact bucket until they respond. Once they respond, then we're going to be going out and, and sending them additional information. So once they're in the no response bucket, our process is we will just want to keep dripping on them, uh, giving them information, you know, every two to four weeks. Um, again, just trying to get them to re-engage and make contact. Just because somebody doesn't contact you right away doesn't mean that they're a bad lead. Remember, it's just timing. Some people need time to clean up their credit and all those million and one different scenarios. So it's a timing game. And since you never know when the right time is, that's why you constantly want to be in contact. It's just about dripping, dripping, dripping. So the lead follow-up process for each one of these different buckets is different. So let's go through it. Number one, your hot leads. So again, these are the people that are going to be ready to buy a home right away. I'm defining that as people in the next two months, right? So if they're buying a home from now to two months, that is my definition of a hot lead. So they're part of a very active sales cycle. You're either actively showing them homes, giving them lists of homes, or you're pulling a market analysis, giving them um, strategies to get the home ready to sell. But you're part of a very active sales cycle with these people. And so my recommendation is a minimum of a call, a text, a Facebook message, an email, whatever, at least weekly, right? And you can be using your phone or a database if you have on a CRM to be setting up reminders to make sure that you're following up with these people every single week. But at a bare minimum, you should be contacting these people at least once per week, okay? Your warm leads. So again, I'm defining these as people that are gonna be making a, a kind of a change in the next three to six months. And so for those people, um, it's gonna take some nurturing, some time, and I just wanna make sure that I, I stay in contact with them leading up to this point so that when the time is right, I'm the one that they want to go with because I've been there the whole time. I've been providing valuable information. I've been that trusted advisor. And um, now they trust me and they're ready to do business with me. So the timing on this one is I recommend follow up every two weeks, right? Calling, texting, email, however you want to do it, but following up every two weeks. So if you're using a program like mini chat, like you've seen in a lot of my videos, um, I'll put a link up here to one of those mini chat videos. Um, but if you're using a program like that, then I recommend making sure that you're tagging people with these tags. So a warm lead, a hot lead, uh, whatever, so that you can put people in these buckets and follow up with them appropriately, right? You can even tag them in, or inside the Facebook messenger system, they're called labels. So you can create labels for these different things and tag them for follow up. So there's different ways of facilitating this but you just wanna make sure that that's not falling through the cracks, that these leads you're following up with every two weeks, okay? So again, it's always about adding value, determining when, the, you know, confirming that they're still gonna be making that change in the next three to six months, whatever it is, and just delivering expert advice, right? Be, be that trusted advisor, that's why they're gonna do business with you. And then lastly are your cultivate leads. So again, I'm defining these as that six to 12 month range. Um, so if you know it's going to be a ways out, that's fine. It doesn't mean it's a bad lead. It just means it's going to take a little bit of time. And so one of the things they've found from lots of studies is that the number one reason why somebody chooses one real estate agent over another, um, some of it, yes, has to do with personality. Some of it, yes, has to do with, um, you know, relationships and, and all those things come into play. But the one thing that they've found that factors into this more than anything is that the number one reason why somebody goes with one agent over another one is that it's usually the first one that contacts them. That is normally the number one reason why somebody goes with a specific agent. And so we want to be that agent, and that's what I'm training you to do, is to be that agent that's there all the time, right? Be helpful, be valuable, stay in contact. And so our follow-up cycle with these people is we're going to follow up with them monthly. 
right? A monthly phone call, monthly text, monthly message, monthly email, whatever that looks like. Um, and again, you can use your phone to track this. If you talk to somebody today and they're one of your Cultivate leads, then you're just gonna schedule an appointment uh, on your calendar to talk to them a week from today. It's one of the easiest ways to manage it. Um, and so that is the whole concept. And again, it's all about adding value, giving advice, making sure that they're still on target for that date, and just making adjustments as they go. As the date gets closer, you're gonna move them from one bucket to the next bucket, which means you're gonna be contacting them more frequently. And that is the best way of managing this process is just to make it super simple, right? So again, you're gonna have four buckets. You've got your no contact bucket, which we're gonna drip on those people permanently, at least uh, one time a month, preferably twice a month, just to stay in contact and try and get some kind of engagement from those people. Um, and then from there, as you contact people, you're either gonna have your cultivate leads, the six to 12 months, your warm leads, three to six months, and then your um, hot leads, you know, uh, people doing, uh, making a decision, buying something in the next two months. So this is the process, this is the lead conversion system that will just help you get a better result out of the follow-up that you're doing. Again, the money is in the follow-up. Very few people are going to be a transaction on the first contact. This is why we wanna make sure that we've got multiple contacts set in place because the money is in the follow-up. Follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. Usually the agent with the greatest income and the ones that are doing the most deals is because they have the best follow-up system they are meticulous about it, and that makes all the difference in the world. So that is today's training on having a lead conversion system using the simple four bucket philosophy and just using that as a way of cultivating more of the leads that you're generating so that they're turning into transactions on the back end of things. So keep in mind, the one last thing is in the real estate industry, since it could be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months before they're ready to do a transaction, if you know that it could be that long, if that's how long their sales cycle is, then you have to have a follow-up system that accounts for that. Because otherwise, again, this is the promise. I promise you, you are leaving money on the table if you don't have a lead conversion system set up. So that is today's training on having a lead conversion system, how to take more of the leads that you're generating and turning them into, into clients on the back end of things. So if you like this video, again, go down, give us a like, that always helps us and we appreciate your feedback. Um, also, make sure that uh, you subscribe to our channel, right? That's one of the best ways of getting more videos, more training like this, of how to be generating and converting leads like uh, was today's uh, conversation. And then uh, finally, click that little bell notification when you're subscribing. That will notify you of uh, any new videos that we've uploaded to our channel. We typically do one or two of these a week. And uh, it's some of the best training out there. And uh, you're going to love it. So with that, thanks for being here. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Have a good one. Take care.